So now as Day Lacrosse prepares for the first semifinal of the Big East Tournament in Providence, there are two game changers for the Pioneers that you won't see in the game, but you will see them on the sidelines and in practices. Josie White and Matthew Van Dyke start every day by meeting and discussing each player's workouts. Because I'm the one in charge of their health and making sure that they're able to compete at the level, highest level they can. Can we keep them injury free or prevent as much injury as possible that's going to occur uh, from the rigors of the sport? and then also uh, improve performance. Instead of working as two separate units, Josie and Matt work together, creating programs to help the players recover and get stronger. So he and I talk about everything in regards to what the athletes are doing so that we're on the same page and can really monitor their player load and just output on a daily basis. Four, five, good drive those hips forward. How they're able to communicate is in part because of these devices. Catapult, which is going to show us the, the training load that each athlete goes through, as well as the stress that they're experiencing through their heart rate monitors. Uh, we can actually control like those two athletes that are returning to play now. Uh, we can ensure that we're giving them appropriate loads that will allow them to safely return to that practice. Josie's in her ninth season as the Pio's athletic trainer, earning her a nickname on the team. We joke like we call her like her mom, you know, sometimes like she just takes care of us. Uh, she's she's always got her back. She's like, you know, like you can text me at any point in the night. Just make sure you don't text me if you're like a cold because I don't want to hear about that. While Matt's in his second season as the strength coach for the Pios, he's already earned the respect of head coach Bill Tierney. And I think Matt Van Dyke's been the first trainer to gain Coach T's trust to, to do uh, conditioning on the field. So. Since Matt's been with the team, he's implemented a training program specifically for lax players. While he doesn't have an exact number, Coach T says he's seen a big drop in muscle-related injuries, all thanks to the combined efforts of Matt and Josie. I'm working together. The guys are getting back quicker. And, and they're staying back well, without getting re-injured. While both of them aren't out on the field scoring goals for the Pios, they measure their success by how healthy the players can stay throughout the season. Be able to compete day in and day out at a really high level and know that it's because of the work that they've ultimately put in that, that you design for them. It's, pretty, uh, it's a special experience. Even though his nickname is the Beast, people like Trevor Baptiste understand how important it is to have people like Josie and Matt taking care of them throughout the season. Like, I don't know if I'd be still playing without them. You know, I don't know if I can be physically able to. And Baptiste, ninth goal of the season. Now, as we were shooting this story, we also learned about a superstition on the team. This is pretty unique, and it doesn't involve growing beards or wearing the same socks. It actually involves seating arrangements. Well, I always have to sit to Coach T's right at dinner when we're on the road. It started, I guess, back his first year. We got into that habit, and then it became something that we... It's a ritual and I have to do it. I've been trying to cut back on these superstitions, but uh, you know, some are hard to break. I just, I just feel a lot better if we get through our routine the same way each week. They were a lot of fun to work with. And we'll